Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Era of the Geeks where I do talks, reviews, uh, guides, any technology related stuff anytime I upload another video. So today I have a review and an unboxing for you which just came from the Beat Phoenix Colossus Mini ITX. Phoenix was kind enough to send me this Colossus Mini ITX case which in fact I shit you not this is my favorite Mini ITX case so without any further ado let's get right to it and I'll show you step by step on the side on the back inside at the front a forward top and the rear or the bottom so here you have the outer side of the box, here's the logo, uh, Coloss Colossus Mini ITX, here's the web address on the side right here, on the back here's some product information as usual and here is another product information which is stated a lot here which I am not going to read, you can read it yourself online because they have it on the web there's nothing at the bottom and just get right to it this online you don't have to worry it being damaged because as you can see here the foaming is quite thick and it's not flexing a lot so your case will be protected if you are ordering it online <laughs> That looks nice. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have a closer look inside and everything about it. So taking a look at the front of the case here, there's not much to see which is very nice for me for a mini ITX version because you want a small uh, minimalistic design and from the top you can see ventilation holes right here which when you open reveals where you, where the fan is and where you the drive that sh for your ROM or uh, fan controller is you can put there and uh, this white plastic bit right here actually lights up I'll show you that in a bit I'll just move this one to this position to reveal to you two USB 3.0s and um, a headphone and microphone jack a restart button and the power button um, the light, the plastic, the plastic bit right here is what it is and I'm going to show you later on. Same goes for on this side, there's not much and on both of the side you won't get the soft touch feel like on the top and at the forward right here. Looking at the top you see it is a very simple design which Again, I would state is what I really love about this case because ITX case, you would really want a very simple and minimalistic design. Um, the top cover here, mesh, it's a filter actually, is removable and it's very easy to remove. As you can see just now, I'll just put it back and latch it back. It's as easy as that. Taking a look at the bottom, you'll find screw these are removable and the rubber pads on the feet of the case which helps elevate and the airflow of your power supply later 
and here is a removable uh, fan filter which is which comes very handy when you want to clean your filters on your case oops looking at the back you will find the fan grill right here and you can see the fan is already installed it is a 120 millimeter fan uh, courtesy of bit phoenix themselves and here are two expansion slots uh, these are screws uh, which will help you mount your graphic card or your expansion card very easily without any hassle of um, screwing down everything but right now i cannot take this off uh, just by unscrewing them with my thumb because they are screwed tight basically you have the idea uh, this is where you mount your power supply and this is where you put your uh, motherboard and where your IO port comes out. So this part right here is the right side of the case and I'm just going to take this off to show you what's inside. It's a very cool case I have to say. Alright, this comes off easily, very easily, and you have, oh, the cables are on the right side. There you go, right there. Your side panel connector is not your front panel connectors, because it doesn't have a front panel connector. You can see some more cables right here, here's a, some serial power cables, and here is your fan connector for this particular fan right here and here are the drive cages and this is where you put your uh, motherboard inside now here is the left part of the case and I'm just gonna take this one off as well there you go again both sides are actually really easy to remove there you go just gonna put this aside first and here it is again the place uh, where you put you put your mini ITX motherboard and here are your drive cages you can see here that there's actually a lot of space you can put your um, drives in you can there's a lot of storage um, expansion places here is your accessory box which basically is your screws and for standoffs um, there's no standoff um, I don't know probably more screws for your case and take this part right here is easily easily removable so you just press two of this clips right here just take it off slide it out and there you go so when you remove this uh, drive cage you can actually remove the bottom part as well um, these two can fit uh, your SSD and your hard drives like normal but like I said you can remove this uh, you're gonna have to go to the bottom and unscrew the screws right there to remove this part right here so you have a place where to put one two on this the power supply cage right here underneath there are slots where you can screw screws on them and you have one part right here when you can screw another SSD or uh, a small um, hard disk for so basically there is a lot of expansion capabilities right here also I guess if you want you can remove this drive cage here and utilize every um, SSD slot you have here which is um, I think about three and you can put a radio um, water cooling unit right here and you have a support for 240 millimeter radiator on top which is pretty cool considering it is a pretty small case so I'm just going to show you what was included in the accessory box um, they included screws a lot of them some cable management clips which sometimes could be very useful sometimes wouldn't and a USB 3.0 to a USB 2.0 adapter so you can change 
if you don't have any USB 3.0 connectors on your motherboard. So I'm going to show you how to mount this power supply. This is quite a normal power supply, so you don't have to worry about space inside there. Not much unless you're putting a Corsair AX1200i, which is a very long power supply. So you're going to have to take the back part which was originally there just now and uh, just take the screws and mount it on your power supply and then after you're done screwing all of the power supply um, screws on there uh, you're going to have to put it back in and mount it with the thumb screws that they have provided as well. So here is a time lapse. So there you go. Okay, so now like I've said before, I'm going to show you how the lighting works on this particular mini ITX case. So here goes. There's a switch right here, which you press. There's red, blue, green, and no, it's not another red. It is a pulsating light kind of a breathing effect, if you will. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in all the colors of rainbow. It just co comes with the color like I've told you before. So here how the light works. You don't need to have any connectors right here. So you don't have to worry every time you take it off. It's just plug and play every time. Um, I think it is a tube carrying light. So when you put, put your case right here the light is carried out nicely and you can also switch it off if you want to okay so that is it for the insides of the case now it's time for you to hear what i think about the case um, the design is very simple i like it i love it very much because it's so simple it looks a lot like the colossus um, full tower right there because it's exactly what it is, is the mini version of the Colossus Full Tower and it borrows the layout design of the mini ITX from its other B Phoenix products. Um, as a mini ITX, this is what I would be looking for. Although you don't have the handles right there, it's not big of an is issue because it's very easy to carry, it's not that heavy as well and there's a lot of expansion options inside like I've shown you just now and there's a lot of customization going on you can do you can even fit radiator and do some water cooling on it if you don't want to go for the closed loop you can always go for the full loop um, it will fit nicely inside and it will look nicely once you've opened it talking about opening it even though there's no window on this side the light accommodates it so some people they want to show off their stuff inside but for me um, when there's no window here you must have something and this is something all in all it is a very good case good quality build and i really again love it <laughs> so a little announcement um, i would like to thank pit phoenix malaysia for sending me this case unfortunately I have to let it go. Yeah, so the little announcement is actually, um, it is a contest giveaway. Yes. So in order for you to win, you're going to have to like my, this video right here that you're watching right now and subscribe to my channel and go to Bit Phoenix Malaysia and like the page 
and I'll announce the winners. I think about end of April and I'll announce the winners and who knows if I'm feeling good maybe I'll put a build inside build something out of it and then ship it to you guys okay so like the video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it comment on the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will still have more videos coming and as always Era of the Geeks Oh, 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 oh,